It's been more than a decade since an EF3 tornado ripped through any part of Hampton Roads. Jeff Lawson saying the Great Neck tornado is among the worst damage he has ever seen. While we wait for more information from the National Weather Service, meteorologist Craig Moeller takes a look at the damage from his perspective. When damaging storms like Sunday's tornado thrash Hampton Roads, it's vitally important for the National Weather Service to understand exactly what happened. This information helps determine how the storm was handled by forecast models, tracked by radar, and communicated through alerts, media partners, and warning systems. The National Weather Service completed their survey of damage in Virginia Beach. Here's what they found. The path of destruction was 4.5 miles long. It started over the eastern branch of the Lynn Haven River. It moved along River Road as an EF-1 with winds of 86 to 110 miles per hour. As the tornado tracked to the northeast through the Chelsea neighborhood, the winds increased to between 111 and 135 miles per hour. It grew even more powerful as it moved through Haversham Close. Most of this tornado's damage path indicated EF2 strength, but when the storm surveyors saw this home shifted off its foundation and this one, and keep in mind, these are well-constructed homes in an area that sees tropical systems, so they're built to code. When they saw these shifted off their foundations, this is what made them say no. This was an EF3 with winds of 140 to 150 miles per hour. At its largest point, the tornado was about four football fields wide. It weakened back to an EF-1 as it crossed Broad Bay and continued over First Landing Park and moved out over Fort Story. When all was said and done, at least 115 homes suffered damage, many extensively. But miraculously, no injuries or fatalities were reported. Craig Moeller, 13 News Now.